You know what? I'm just gonna ask the best oracle. Ben, who wins? Wait, what? Yeah. I don't even know who I who I thought. Really? It's hard, dude. Trouble. And mid one needs some help right now. The kick comes through from FY, rolling boulder as well, and freeze. The perfect line of strike array, another advantage of having that that early on. Not yet. Rolling boulder. Oh, he misses the target. Tries to go for the kick a little bit blind with the call snap. Snowball's gonna come in. Sunstrike. Oh no! Oh. The shards from Puppy pushes him out of range of the Sunstrike, and now Puppy's in trouble. Freeze sending its ground with that level 2 slave up. He's just able to bring down the Tusker. That looks so improbable that that would happen right there. Pilot Eye is doing a pull, but RTK doesn't have dual just yet, but with the high movement speed, thanks to his phase boots, Fenrir, but off everything he's got, Pilot Eye, the Shadow Word's giving him just enough life to potentially survive back under the tier 2 tower. Pilot Eye's so low, they've come in deep for this one. MP, what do you really do against this? You shard forward and you block in Fenrir with the walls, with MP, maybe with a stun forward. FY, the space is stun strike from mid one. It'll be able to connect and MP making a break for the tree line. Needs to stay hidden. RTK still doesn't have anything else to really fight with yet. He doesn't have the mana for it. They're going again, to top lane, out. rolling ball to forward, right on top of MP. The kick is perfect. Connecting on to MP. He'll go down, plus two for Fenrir. In fact, he's up to four now on Pilot Eye. Under the tower, RTK is more than tanky enough to go in for it. In fact, it's going to be Fenrir as that silencer who picks up the double kill on the off lane. T just picked up an Invis rune. Yeah, I think they see that and immediately bounce. It Cold snap into Snowball should be a kill for them. ROTK trying to find any stragglers. Did but... see it? The ping's coming out. He knows the wolves are on top, but the bounty rune got taken underneath the Observer Ward. So rolling boulder over Fenrir in the trees. Wants to get out of this one, but it won't be possible. Quick kill for MP. Now they move over to ROTK. Quick press the attack. Phase boots on cooldown for half a second. He's actually turning to try and fight this with the support of Aggressive who's rotated up. FY needs the rolling ball to kick to find the target and MP is going to be it. The kick won't connect over on Puppy, bringing the sigil out, slow everything down. You can, but with Laguna Blade from Freeze, the damage is enough. The Sunstrike's looking for its target, but RTK, he stuck around just a little bit longer. So Sunstrike never connected and it's Puppy trying to stay in the trees before Freeze and FY are able to connect on him. And with the Light Strike Array, Puppy is locked in position and brought down. Freeze is looking for his next target. Laguna Blade just comes off cooldown. And there's just enough mana, but then Snowball forward. Freeze caught out. The Light Strike Array connects on three. The Sun Strike, the damage is good on Freeze, but Fly, FY, can't create enough space. All he's going to do, or maybe he can. Aggressive comes in from behind. Keizu is just food to him. So it's a one for one trade off the Earth Spirit for the Centaur. As MP wants to go a little bit further out, yeah, he'll be able to escape. Like, uh, doing a lot of damage versus Life Stealer, doing Roshan. Haven't really seen too much Mask, though. FY run away. Mid one, the Vision's there, the Call Snap will connect, FY cannot escape. There is TP support coming in, it's aggressive. But still the Wars finish the job on FY. He's been doing a fantastic job of scouting with those uh, with those wolves. I think that's actually the hardest part about playing Lycan, is scouting with the wolf. Pilot Eye has the rock, and you can see Team Seek with the second Pilot Eye hit that level 6. They want to try and fight aggressive with the rage. He doesn't know Keizu's there, getting body blocked up a little bit. Now the sensory water's down, they understand it. And the charge forward, the shards will hold aggressive down, the rock will hit. They're stunned over on two aggressive, able to dodge it thanks to the infest, but cannot dodge the cold snap. There's Team Secret, Puppy, not a healthy man, wants to TP out, he'll actually survive, no, the duel! RTK blinks in, takes out the captain of Team Secret, and is looking for more. Yeah, he could have been both. Kezu, rolling ball to forward, the silence is absolutely perfect, but the Fatal Bond's connected, but the three kick! He's there from FY once again. Snowball has to be used by Puppy to protect him. Sunstrike right in the mark. It's going to connect over on Freeze. FY not a healthy man either, but Fenrir standing on the back line is doing the damage. FY 22 HP. He can't rolling boulder away. The walls were there to do the damage, but now it's Puppy. He's going to go down. Fenrir claiming his fourth kill of the game. He only ever does it in twos. And Aggressive is looking for more as well. Under the tower. There's no mana. RTK can't duel. Now he's made a bonus up to the creep wave and getting Cole snapped down. No way for him to survive in too deep and it's mid one who'll take the killing spree from him for 322 gold. I think they're in the economic position to do so. RTK wants to jump. 
Silent Zone Ward doesn't see enough to go for the Silent Zone from K2. There's your jump forward. It's going to be Puppy is the one brought down by the Infest combo, but Lycan running forward. The Mask Commander trick takes so much damage. Freeze the Sun Strike. He'll connect with the Rock and Fatal Bonds together. VGJ, their fates are tied. But for how long? They'll back out as far as they can. Back into the fight. MP, not a healthy man. FY can't do enough damage to bring Lycan into that critical place. Or maybe he can. The Magnetize Armor Toggle through and then in range of the Shrine. So one for one trade off Keizu jumping forward. He has to create space for Pilot Eye to survive as Fenrir couldn't get the last glaive in. So he'll fall for it as well. MP with a double kill. The Ice Wall VGJ, they just can't run. They're forced to stand their ground. But Freeze needs to do the damage from the side. Aggressor will finally go down. MP with a triple kill. Oh they can turn their attention God. towards the Lina with the double Ice Strike Array. It will not be enough. Just keep running, Freeze. The Laguna play, but it's not enough. Mid one pushes him back with a deafening blast. He'll find the kill, and it is all out war. It was a 5-4 trade-off in that fight, and we're not done yet. FY, I can't get in range of mid one. Mid one's out. He's home. He's hosed. Uh, I guess Global Silence, which isn't up right now. Are they going to catch aggressive? Oh, one. my. Kill him off. The Sun Strikes on the mark. Aggressive. Can he toggle his way back up the hill? The Silence is there for the deafening blast from mid one. It'll help connect those part that found the kill. Poppy will trade his life for it. Remember, they did commit the rock to go for this fight as now you look for that Legion, the jump, and he can't do it, not while he's being cold snapped up, but his bottom lane is a distraction game. MP pushing in through the bottom, looking for that melee Rax. FY wants the kick, but he can't stop it. The duel will begin. That'll keep MP off it. If he can only just do enough work, MP will end up falling. The melee Rax is still alive for the moment. The mid one will be able to finish the job. MP won that duel. Sun Strike! Oh, Fenrir, so close. Freeze as well, just has to hide inside the base. Team Secret, they've ravaged the bottom and they're moving towards the mid now. Dude, everyone just leaves Aggressor stranded. He he was raged for like three seconds trying to walk back to his base and no one is there to infest. Like, where is the teamwork coming out from VGJ? This is not the same team that we saw a couple months ago. Yeah, there's, there's definitely some problems in their first series of the day. And with this format, problems can drop you down. No way to get the top seeds if you lose even a single game. Do oh, some one. stuff. He wants this. He really wants this, and he really should not want this. Legion Commander is waiting nearby. With that halberd available, he can trigger off the Lincoln Spear. So they go with one. Here goes your trigger into the duel. Support is there from Keizu. It's RTK who's losing his life. Support is there. The Global Silence. RTK can't run. The Ice Wall will hold him in position. So RTK is down. 50 seconds. He'll lose the Silencer as well. Both down with no respawns available. That is a second lane of Rax. And Freeze can nudge him the top lane all he wants, but... Well, that ain't gonna happen. Not when the snowball comes in very deep from Puppy. A little bit too deep going on to FY. So he'll die at the tower, but it's more space creation. It's only 5,000-ish in favor, but like... Oh, jump. Horf stomp. Oh. Perfect target. It's over on aggressive, but aggressive. The shards again pushing him out of range. He'll toggle it out. The rock will fall. Not really perfect on the hits, but aggressive cannot outrun MP. RTK actually jumped into the middle of it. He allowed for the infest escape of Keizu. Still hot in the tail. They're going to lose everybody here. VGJ trying to stand their ground, but MP comes back to just munch on the bones that is the corpses of VGJ. Even gems of true sides being dropped. Invoker is on the run. He's trying to chase after Freeze. He's up there with FY, but it won't matter if MP goes straight through the mid. The bottom lane's already pressured in. He doesn't even have to wait. That's why the Wolves are attacking into the range. But it's Invoker being brought down by Freeze. The damage with the Magnetize, it may almost be enough. Freeze will actually get the kill on this. Followed with the Laguna Blade in the Puppy. It almost feels like a consolation prize with a push down. Freeze's attack will follow through. The mid racks was mopped up. Nice. That's pretty low. I, I like you oh, can do. FY. What did he get? He found Tusker. Snowball forward, rolling boulder back out again. Aggressive wants something here, but the sigil is out from Puppy. The shards. FY were rolling boulder up. Aggressive. He's got just enough movement speed to get back to the tier four towers. But up on top, that's where your battle is. RTK down for 71 seconds. The BKB was triggered, but mid one's just too strong. The global silence is out. Team Secret a little bit deep inside the base, but I don't think MP really cares. He's munching on Fenrir underneath the tier four towers. Turns 
attention towards FY. Diffuser Blade taking off the Ghost after FY with just enough life. He'll get back, but GG is already called from ROTK. This game is done and dust, and Team Secret will take their first game of the key F major out two to zero. Their team fight was just a lot better, and I think they are exceptionally good about playing around mid one. Secret probably pretty happy. Half the teams will move up to that upper bracket, and Secret.